Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to be discussing what's in my hospital bag. Um, these are videos that I enjoy watching, just trying to prepare myself of what people actually take to the hospital and what people actually use. So just keep watching if you'd like to see what I'm gonna to take to the hospital with me for my gastric bypass surgery tomorrow. <music> Okay, so this is what's going in my hospital bag. These are some of my favorite videos to watch in people's weight loss surgery videos. Um, so I'll show you what all I have. My mother's gonna be staying with me, so I have some crayons, pencils, some Sudoku, and some coloring books. Those are for her, well, and for me too. I mean, if I feel like I want to do any of that. Um, as for toiletries, I have, these are um, bar soaps and lotions from where, like I recently traveled and these were in the hotel and I took them, <laughs> I mean I paid for them. Uh, a brush and some band-aids and I got some bobby pins. And I have a toothbrush and toothpaste because I'm not going to take my Sonicare toothbrush to the hospital. So I'm going to take a toothbrush that I don't care if, you know, whatever happens to it. Q-tips. Got to have Q-tips. Got to have some chapstick. The EOS is my favorite. Got to have some lotion. My mom will use this too. We're both like lotion fanatics. And an eye mask. I usually have to have this at home regardless. So, I mean, I know I can't sleep in a hospital without it. And of course, some deodorant. And I got just some travel shampoo and conditioner. Those will probably last me one time. My hair is long and thick and band-aids. My mother's pretty clumsy. And I got um, two pair of headphones. These I'll probably sleep in because whenever I travel or I'm not in my own bed, I do have problems sleeping. So those are to sleep in and those are just to drown out my mother. I'm kidding. And obviously a ponytail holder or a clip, which however I feel like wearing my hair that day or at the time. And I got a pair of shorts and a t-shirt to wear home. And a pair of shorts and a tank top to sleep in. And this right here, I mean, I work at the hospital. So, well, I work at two hospitals. And these are from the other hospital that I work at. But these are uh, sterile caps to go on the end of your IV. And alcohol pads. So, instead of lugging the... I med machine the IV pump to the bathroom with me. I mean, I know how to pause them and everything, so I'll just pause it and put a red cap on it and clean the hub of my IV and walk to the bathroom without dragging that thing around and worrying about pulling out my IV. So, have a little stash of those for the bathroom. And I have to take my patient handbook 
this is everything. This is like our um, Bible, as they call it. And this right here is all of my information from start to finish. So I'll have everything if there's any questions once I get there to register. And I'm also bringing some really comfortable, like really stretchy pants because you know, I don't know how swollen I am going to be after surgery. These are like capri length. I got these at Walmart on clearance for like five bucks. And they're super soft. And a tank top to go with it. Like I said, just very roomy. And I got this on clearance at Walmart for three bucks. So, I mean, if I get stuff on it you know, for my incisions or anything, it'll be fine. And I also got, just in case I get cold, um, a really soft uh, long sleeve shirt and some long pants. They're really soft too. And some brassieres, nothing binding or restricting, just something really comfortable to wear. I mean, because like I said, I do work at this facility where I'm getting this surgery done, so I want to be as modest as I can because I have to work with these people and the chances of me seeing them again are very high. So just really comfortable, stretchy bras, panties. Everybody's going to take panties, I'm sure. And I also got this robe because they say to bring... um a knee length robe with you and I actually got this at Walmart on clearance for like $11 so this is knee length and it's really stretchy and really soft so I figured I'd be good for me to walk in and I'm bringing my monkey this is Clarice I sleep with her every night so obviously she is definitely going to the hospital with me She's been on every vacation with me. All right, guys. That's what's all. Oh, and I will have my retainer and my retainer cleaner phone charger. A book. And my pillow. But, I mean, obviously, I, I'm about to put my retainer in because I'm about to go to bed. And everybody knows what a pillow looks like. But thanks for watching. So it is Sunday, August 25th. And in less than 24 hours, I will be done surgery by now. Because it's 9.24. Hopefully I'll be done by surgery by this time tomorrow. But um, if you're still watching, you probably already saw what I put in my hospital bag. That's what I plan on taking. But I also wanted to um, discuss my bowel prep that I have to do today. For the past 13 days, I have been on a full liquid diet. Um, four to five protein shakes a day with four ounces of low sodium broth and eight ounces of Jello and decaf coffee or tea or calorie free beverages no caffeine no carbonation but today all i can have are clear liquids which is clear broth sorry i'm reading from my my bible here that they gave me at my pre-surgical class clear broth or bouillon decaf coffee or tea with no milk no cream and no dairy creamer so I usually I'm on decaf coffee already and I usually put um, a protein shake in my coffee instead of using creamer which I have used some heavy whipping cream just because I had a little bit left and just trying to get rid of it but I normally use um, a Atkins protein shake you can have water you can have sugar-free kool-aid Sugar-free Jello, sugar-free popsicles, no red, purple, or orange. 
So I had to go buy two boxes of sugar-free popsicles because I could only find sugar-free popsicles. One box was only red, purple, and orange, and I was using it during my pre-op diet. But the other one that I found had red, orange, and yellow. So I had to buy two boxes. That way I knew I would have enough yellow popsicles to make it through today. Along with that, which I've already had some clear broth this morning, and I've had some crystal light that I've made. At one o'clock, I have to take two Dulcolax laxatives, not softeners. So I'll start with these. These are the um, ready in case. Um, these are the 88 cent laxatives. Let me see if I can at Walmart. They're the same thing as Dulcolax laxative, but it was 88 cents. And there's 25 of them in here and I only need four. But at one o'clock I take two of these and then I can continue with um, the clear broth and water or the crystal light. And then at four o'clock I have to mix 238 grams of Miralax with 64 ounces of any clear flavored crystal light tea, lemonade, or water drink. And I have to drink it over an hour to two hour period. So I got this. And this is the 510 gram. But because whenever I went to go get all this stuff, I forgot to bring my book and I forgot what size. So I figured more is better than less. And I can um, weigh this out to 238 grams on my food scale. So <clears throat> whenever I do mix it today, at I'm gonna mix it about two o'clock and put it in the refrigerator and get it cold. So, so at four o'clock I have to drink this with, I'm gonna do lemonade, crystal light I think. I have to drink it over an hour to two hour. That's 64 ounces in two hours. So from four to six, that's what I will be drinking, the Miralax. And then at eight o'clock tonight, I'll take two more of the laxatives. And then after eight o'clock, I can continue with my clear liquids but nothing to eat past midnight. Because surgery's tomorrow, obviously. So excited and scared. Sorry, my window's open right here. That's why like, my hair's blowing all over my face. So I'm about to give my dog a bath, cut his nails, and take him to his babysitter because they're gonna watch him tonight because I don't want to be out of the house past one o'clock today just because I'm pretty sure this is going to move pretty quickly so I'm going to take him and drop him off at the babysitter and they're going to have him from now until next Wednesday so I'm going to miss him that's not him barking if you hear dogs barking that's my neighbor's dogs barking I've got my windows open today because it's like 70 degrees or something here it feels amazing, so I've got my windows open just trying to get some fresh air. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to pack my hospital bag, which you've already seen, and just wanted to show y'all my um, clear liquid only diet the day before. So, along with my bowel prep that I had to do today to get ready for surgery. Starting last night, I had to do the Hibiclens showers. I know a lot of people have had to do this, but it's with different products and different ways and stuff. Um, it's this. And so you got Sunday evening and then Monday morning. I already did my Saturday night, obviously, because today is Sunday. But so yesterday, whenever I got home from work, before I went to bed, I took a shower 
and done everything as usual and then turned the water off and had to open this and she told me to apply it to my chest and abdomen first and like rub it down and then apply it to the rest of my body neck down no private areas um, and stand there in the shower for two minutes so got one shower down two more to go I do tonight I'll do this one and then in the morning before I have to be at the hospital at six o'clock in the morning to check in for surgery so I'll probably be up about four o'clock in the morning just making sure I got everything ready and you know because I won't be at the house for three days um, and then making sure I got everything packed in my bag and shower and then get dressed and head to the hospital just to make sure I don't have any hiccups on the way there you know traffic's crazy on Monday morning so but yep yeah, that's my other preparation is my HIPAA cleanse let me know if y'all had to do this too all right guys I just got out of the shower I just done my second uh, HIPAA cleanse shower I'll have to do one again in the morning um, hospital bags packed HIPAA cleanse done bowel prep is done so in a few short hours I will be out of surgery and hopefully it will be successful all right I hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and give my video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one